Hello, dear brothers and sisters. It is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm 7, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this psalm and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 7, attributed to King David, is a powerful song of supplication and trust in God in the face of threats and persecution from enemies. This poetic composition is rooted in the universal human experience of battling adversity, be it physical, spiritual, or emotional. However, its relevance transcends historical context and is embraced by many as a timeless expression of faith and hope in the midst of tribulations. From the first verses, the psalmist cries out to God for protection and deliverance against those who persecute him with violence and the threat of destruction. He turns to God as his refuge, recognizing that only in divine providence can he find safety and escape. The metaphor of the hungry lion about to tear apart its prey vividly illustrates the urgency and imminent danger facing the psalmist, amplifying the sense of desperation and need for divine intervention. However, the psalmist's cry is not just for physical deliverance, but also for justice. He presents himself before God with integrity, pleading for his innocence to be recognized and his cause to be defended. This call for justice reveals not only a search for personal protection, but also a desire for moral order and righteousness in the world. The psalmist's confidence in God's justice is evident throughout Psalm 7. He expresses his conviction that God is a just judge, who sees and judges the hearts and intentions of men. This trust in divine justice is a fundamental pillar of the psalmist's faith, sustaining his hope in the midst of adversity. Furthermore, Psalm 7 also contains elements of reflection on the consequences of human actions. The psalmist recognizes individual responsibility in the universal law of harvest. What a man sows, he will also reap. This awareness of the consequences of evil serves as a reminder of the importance of ethics and righteousness in human life. In the end, Psalm 7 culminates in a hymn of gratitude and praise for justice and divine intervention. The psalmist expresses his confidence that God is his shield and defender, able to save and protect him from his enemies. His response to divine intervention is not only personal relief, but also an affirmation of God's greatness and goodness. In short, Psalm 7 is a powerful expression of faith and trust in God in the face of life's adversities. He reminds us of the importance of seeking refuge and justice in God, even in the darkest moments, and challenges us to live with integrity and confidence in divine justice. Psalm 7, attributed to King David, is a notable poem of petition and trust in God in the face of threats and hostility from adversaries. This poetic work transcends its historical context to become a universal symbol of faith and hope amidst life's tribulations. From the first verses, the psalmist cries out to God for protection and deliverance against those who persecute him with violence and destructive intent. By invoking the image of a hungry lion ready to tear him apart, he highlights the urgency and imminent threat he faces, highlighting the desperate need for divine intervention. However, his plea is not just for physical deliverance, but also for justice. The psalmist presents himself before God with integrity, begging for his innocence to be recognized and his cause to be defended. This search for justice reveals not only the need for personal protection, but also a longing for moral order and righteousness in the world. The psalmist's confidence in God's justice is evident throughout Psalm 7. He expresses his conviction that God is an upright judge, who knows hearts and judges fairly. This faith in divine justice is a crucial element of the psalmist's hope, sustaining him in the midst of adversity. Furthermore, Psalm 7 also reflects on the consequences of human actions. The psalmist recognizes individual responsibility in the universal law of sowing and reaping. He who sows evil will reap evil. This awareness of the consequences of sin serves as a reminder of the importance of ethics and righteousness in human life. At the end of Psalm 7, we see the psalmist respond to divine intervention with gratitude and praise. He recognizes God as his shield and defender, capable of saving and protecting him from enemies. 
His response is not only a personal relief, but also an affirmation of God's goodness and greatness. In summary, Psalm 7 is a powerful expression of faith and trust in God amidst life's adversities. He reminds us of the importance of seeking refuge and justice in God, even in the darkest moments, and challenges us to live with integrity and confidence in divine justice. Now we will meditate on Psalm 7, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray thee, Our Father. O Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me, or they will tear me like a lion, and rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done this, and there is guilt on my hands, if I have repaid my ally with evil, or without cause have robbed my foe, then let my enemy pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground, and make me sleep in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God, decree justice. Let the assembled peoples gather around you, while you sit enthroned over them on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. Vindicate me, O Lord, according to my righteousness. According to my integrity, O Most High. Bring to an end the violence of the wicked, and make the righteous secure. You, the righteous God, who probes minds and hearts. My shield is God Most High, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, a God who displays his wrath every day. If he does not relent, he will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons. He makes ready his flaming arrows. He who is pregnant with evil and conceives trouble gives birth to disillusionment. He who digs a hole and scoops it out falls into the pit he has made. The trouble he causes recoils on himself. His violence comes down on his own head. I will give thanks to the Lord because of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. My Lord and Heavenly Father, grant this person strength to overcome life's difficulties, especially those caused by rejection from relatives and friends. Renew your energy, Lord, and bring new energy to these people. We know that you are holy and that we depend entirely on you. Lord, my God and my Father, I recognize that many people are facing difficulties in their lives. There are those who are burdened with debt, and others who seem to be stuck in a stagnant situation with no progress. However, I trust you to bless us all. I ask that you bring prosperity to your sons and daughters who face such challenges. May you unlock the paths that seem closed and bring new opportunities. Lord, extend your hands of help to each of them, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty Lord, in your infinite mercy and love, I cry out for your abundant blessings upon us all. Do not allow, Heavenly Father, your children to become discouraged or give up in the face of life's adversities. Pour your divine strength upon us, renew our hopes and give new encouragement to our lives. We recognize, Lord, that we often find ourselves stuck in situations that don't seem to change year after year. We feel stuck, stagnant in a cycle that doesn't change. But, Lord, we know that in you there is power to transform any reality. Therefore, we ask you, kind God, to intervene in our lives, breaking these chains that bind us and prevent us from moving forward. May your divine light illuminate our path, showing us new opportunities and directions. May your powerful hand guide us out of stagnation and lead us towards growth and the realization of your plans for us. Grant us, Lord, discernment to see the necessary changes in our lives and courage to make them. Bless, Lord, each person present here who reads these words with a heart open to your will. You know, O oh Father, the struggles and difficulties that each one faces. Therefore, we beseech you, Lord, to bring hope where there is despair, to bring comfort where there is pain, to grant peace where there is anguish. May each of us be strengthened in our faith, fully trusting in your providence and unconditional love. May our lives be living testimonies of your transforming power, Lord, so that others may also be reached by your grace and mercy. In you we place our trust, Lord, and we lift this prayer with gratitude in our hearts. May your blessings accompany us in every step, today and always. My God and my Heavenly Father, I humbly come into your presence to implore your blessings upon your children. 
Let there be no shortage of daily bread, Lord, as we trust in you to provide abundantly. Look with compassion at those who are distressed and worried, who cannot find peace or sleep because of debts and other problems. Intervene, Lord, in favor of your children, taking measures in their lives. Bless, Lord, your daughter who cries for help today. Hear her pleas and strengthen her faith. She hears the prayers of all who cry out to you at this time, and may there not be a lack of your blessing in their lives. Deliver them from all the snares of the spiritual enemy, O Lord, and fill them with your peace that passes all understanding. May each one feel the touch of your love and the certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, Heavenly Father, I come before you to pray your blessings upon your children. Let there be no lack of daily sustenance, as we trust in your abundant provision. Look with compassion on those distressed and worried, unable to find peace or sleep due to debts and other problems. Intervene on behalf of your children, taking action in their lives. Bless your daughter who cries for help today. Hear your supplications and strengthen your faith. Hear the prayers of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing be constant in their lives. Deliver them from all the snares of the spiritual enemy and grant them your supernatural peace. May each one feel your love and the certainty of your presence. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, I stand before your presence to beseech your blessings upon your beloved sons and daughters. May you never lack daily provision as we fully trust in your kindness and constant care. Look with mercy on those who are afflicted and anxious, unable to find tranquility due to worries about debts and other adversities. Intervene, O Lord, in their lives, acting with your sovereign power to bring relief and solution to their problems. May your daughter who cries for help today be enveloped by your peace and strengthened in her faith. Grant, compassionate Father, the petitions of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing be poured out upon them abundantly. Free them from all the wiles of the spiritual enemy and grant them the tranquility that only you can offer. May each one deeply experience the love that you emanate and the unshakable certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly God, I stand before your presence to beg your blessings upon your beloved sons and daughters. May you never lack daily provision as we fully trust in your kindness and constant care. Look with mercy on those who are afflicted and anxious, unable to find tranquility due to worries about debts and other adversities. Intervene, O Lord, in their lives, acting with your sovereign power to bring relief and solution to their problems. May your daughter who cries for help today be enveloped by your peace and strengthened in her faith. Grant, compassionate Father, the petitions of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing be poured out upon them abundantly. Free them from all the wiles of the spiritual enemy and grant them the tranquility that only you can offer. May each one deeply experience the love that you emanate and the unshakable certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, I come before your majesty to plead for your gracious blessing upon your beloved sons and daughters. May they never lack daily sustenance as we fully trust in your generosity and constant care. Look with compassion at those who face anguish and anxieties, unable to find peace due to worries about debt and other adversities. Intervene, O Lord, in their lives, manifesting your sovereign power to bring comfort and solution to their problems. May your daughter who cries for help today be enveloped by your peace and strengthened in her faith. Answer, O loving Father, the petitions of all who cry out to you at this time, and may your blessing reach them abundantly. Free them from all the traps of the spiritual enemy and grant them the security that only you can offer. May each one feel deeply the warmth of your love and the certainty of your constant presence. In the name of Jesus, may the blessing of the Lord rest upon everyone, protecting them from all evil and the snare of the enemy. May all evil strategies be undone and may any trap be nullified by the light of his presence. We ask the Lord to remove all anguish, fear, affliction and anxiety that may plague hearts, replacing them with peace that surpasses all understanding. May every burden on the body, every negative energy, and every spiritual weight be dissipated by His grace and restorative power. In the name of Jesus, we trust in His promise of deliverance and healing, 
placing our faith in his ability to transform every situation for the good of those who love him. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, that will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. At the end of the analysis of Psalm 7, we are confronted with a poetic narrative that transcends the boundaries of time and culture, echoing the depths of the human experience in its search for protection, justice, and redemption. This psalm, attributed to King David, resonates with a sincerity and intensity that resonates with every heart that has faced adversity and persecution. Throughout this psalm, we see the psalmist's journey, from his desperate plea for deliverance to his unshakable trust in justice and divine intervention. He invites us to look beyond our immediate circumstances and fix our eyes on him who is our refuge and strength, no matter what challenges we may face. The final message of Psalm 7 is a powerful reminder of God's sovereignty and goodness. He teaches us that even in the darkest and most desperate times, we can find hope and security in God. His justice is infallible, His mercy is inexhaustible, and His love is eternal. As we contemplate the words of this psalm, we are challenged to renew our trust in God and to commit ourselves to a life of righteousness and integrity. We are encouraged to cast our worries and fears upon Him, knowing that He cares for us with a love that surpasses all human understanding. May Psalm 7 inspire us to face our own challenges with courage and faith, trusting in the promise that God is with us every step of the way. And that, like the psalmist, we can find reasons to give thanks and praise the name of the Lord, even in the midst of the storms of life. May the eternal message of this psalm echo in our hearts, strengthening our faith and fueling our hope in God, now and forever. Amen.